This lesson covers the next five checkbox edits. They're all easily understandable and quite likely to be used in some of your programming. We'll talk about record to record auto down through the tab field checkbox edit. Auto functions are those executed when the keyer has the auto functions on. Remember that he can toggle them off and on with the auto key, function key 2. The codes are D for duplicate, S for skip, I for increment, and E for remit. U is not an auto function. It denotes double keying of the field. If D is coded, information is duplicated from the same field on the prior record. By the same field, I mean the one that has the same field number, not the one in the same place on the screen. If there is a change to be made, the operator has to turn auto off by pressing function key 2, then key the change into the field. The next record after the change data will duplicate the changes that have been made. Programming a field to be auto-skipped usually means the data seldom occurs. Skipping the field means the operator doesn't have to press the field release key to skip the field. However, if data appears, the operator still can turn auto-off to enter data into the field. We might have used this feature if our Playful Pals coupon had two address lines on it. Since most residences don't have two address lines, we could have programmed the second line to be a skip field. Auto increment is used on numeric fields. Whatever the value in the same field in the prior record, Unibase bumps that number by one and puts it in the current field. Auto emit is an unusual checkbox. When set, it tells Unibase to emit the tag associated with the field into the field itself. It's one way to put constants into a record without the operator having to worry about keying the constant or losing it on duplication. An operator can also turn auto off back up into the emit field and change what's in it. When auto is turned on and the next record is reached, the information that goes into the field is still what's in the tag, not with the operator keyed in the field in the prior record. If you're going to use an emit field, it's important to make the field the same size as the tag you want to emit, and you have to start the field immediately after the tag. Because of the ability of the Unibase aid programming language to add literals to an output record and to perform other calculations, using an emit field or a duplicating field is not necessarily the most efficient way to program a job. However, there is a tremendous amount of legacy programming, and data entry shops that have always used emit and duplicating fields need a little time to be able to make such a change. Also, if DMAC is converting a customer from another system that had to use these functions, it's useful for Unibase to have them too. If we look at the notes to our job, we see that the customer wants a code, the capital letter A in column 80. We can use an emit field here and we create it by keying a capital A say about here immediately followed by a single underscore. Then we go to the checkbox edits. Since the emit field is a live data field, this would be field number 10, we'll use field go to to get to it. Then we'll press tab twice. This takes us to the record to record auto functions and we'll make this an emit field. Since we don't want our operators to ever change the A to anything else, let's also make it a protected field. This might be a convenient way to program constants if it's something that you're used to. As I said earlier, the U is for double key. This means the operator keys the field, then is positioned back 
at the beginning of the field. The data the operator just keyed is blanked out and the operator rekeys it. If what he keys the second time matches what he keyed the first time, the cursor goes to the next field in the record. If not, the operator is put back at the beginning of the field to rekey it until he keys it the same way twice in a row. Use of this checkbox edit is useful if your shop is keying a job where most of the data doesn't have to be verified, but your customer has a particular field he would like to have keyed twice to be sure it's keyed correctly. And I do want to emphasize this is called double keying, not verification. Record to record ascendancy checks that the data keyed in this field is greater than or equal to the data that was keyed in the same field on the prior record. Unibase can also do format to format dupe and increment. This means that if you have more than one format in a job and say you're in format 5, the program can duplicate or increment data from the prior format 5 which may or may not be the prior record. Format to format ascendancy is the same idea. It checks that the data in this field is greater than or equal to the data keyed in the same field in a prior occurrence of the same format, which may or may not be the prior record. The tab field is like the tab stop on a typewriter. When the operator presses the tab key, Unibase looks for the next field with the tab set and stops there. This is useful for jobs like surveys. There may be several fields in succession that have no data to be entered. The programmer can set a tab stop at the beginning of another group of fields and the cursor jumps to that field. The operator doesn't have to keep pressing field release to get over the fields with no data. The passed over fields are filled with spaces or zeros depending on their fill no data checkbox edit. Let's put a tab stop on our gender field. We'll do a record back to get us to the gender field. We'll press tab twice and then use our cursor to get to the tab field and put in a Y. This means an operator could just press tab to get to the gender field if no date of birth is given instead of having to press field release, field release, field release.